Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts, and today I'm going to be using this um, sketch support, free sketch, sketch number 22 from Scrapbook Generations, and I'm actually going to be using the option number 20. The, you do have the option to purchase one of their pieces that go with this. Um, Allison does the free sketches, but then she always adds a couple other pieces. This was something that I always like to do because I always like to see all of her options, and she took that one page layout sketch and turned it into a double page layout which you know is my jam. I um, am right now just cutting out all of these circles um, that are going to go on the right hand side of the layout. I have this die that cuts out the circles but then also cuts out these tiny little hearts all around the circles and I just love that with this piece of collection. This is the Doodlebug collection. It's their Easter collection probably from a couple years ago. Um, I will make sure that I link it down below because it's super cute. Basically what the sketch calls for, the one page sketch calls for, is some circles and then you put the photos um, on top of the circles. The double page layout uh, sketch basically moves the uh, circles to one side and then just does a block of photos on the other side which is what obviously I end up doing. Um, so I did cut up enough circles and uh, one of them was going to be completely covered by the photos on the right hand side. So I just went ahead and removed that from the piece and I'm going to actually end up using it later on. So I went ahead and put my adhesive directly down on the white cardstock and then added my photos to it. On the very far left hand side, I'm going to do two rows of a border. So first one is going to be like the jelly beans, uh, which is perfect for Easter. And then um, a purple tone on tone little grid paper. And then over on the right hand side, it calls for this just like random strip of quarter inch paper. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Um, not really sure, but it works. Um, and then I go ahead and use my T-square ruler to make sure that um, I get a perfect grid with these circles. And I did try to use some paper that had some tone on tone basically because these collections, the Doodlebugs collection, come with a ton, ton of embellishments. And so I knew that this layout was one that would be perfect because I could use up quite a bit of the embellishment pieces that come with it. So once I get everything down, you can see that I have my embellishments on page protectors. And I first decided to just pull out the bigger pieces that I was going to use. So I have a little lamb, um, a crate with three eggs in it, a little sack with some carrots in it. And then down at the bottom there, I've got a little bunny and his little bunny butt sticking out of the bucket there. Looks like he kind of fell in. And so I do go ahead and distress all of the edges. I'm using Tim Holtz's, um, it's one of his recent colors called Speckled Eggs, which I thought was perfect for this layout. After I go ahead and get all of the pieces down, um, I did go ahead and cut that little flower in half and added it to the green one. I start to kind of fill in some of the pieces that were a little more difficult. I do add this little chick and an egg on the uh, polka dotted paper there. And then down there on the bottom, I added a little fence with an egg, and then I do end up adding another egg with uh, that is from the enamel shape piece. I was gonna add a little tree to that bunny, but then I found this little bunny on his little um, scooter, or um, I guess it's scooter, um, to put him up on Fun Foam, and he's super cute. And then down at the very bottom, um, I found some paint cans, like you were gonna, you know, paint Easter eggs. So I found three of those and I put one flat and then two up on fun foam. And it I think works perfectly down there at the bottom because it kind of frames up that photo. I really wanted to add this little hedgehog. He has a paintbrush, but it just couldn't make it work. So um, he doesn't get added to the page, unfortunately. So then I took that circle that I had over on the far right and I added it back to the far left and uh, used it to add another little like bunny crossing sticker that has a little check underneath it. And then I'm going to end up adding a little word over there that says fun. And then I wanted to add a couple other word phrases over here on the right. So I do add memories to the little bucket at the bottom. And I found this tag that says blessed, but it got lost in that circle with um, the pattern paper and I specifically cut out that section of the pattern paper so that I could get the bunnies in the hot air balloon, the bunnies on the bike, and then the bunnies in the bucket. So I really wanted to make sure that that piece stood out. 
So I moved it up to the top and put the carrots down below so that that word blessed um, could really stand out in the purple against the orange. And then I went ahead and added two little tiny carrots um, next to or right above the word blessed. So I started with the title. Um, I was going to just put the word 2013 and then try to use um, little stickers to uh, finish the title off but I couldn't find uh, a sticker that I really liked. Like I first tried this Easter one, I actually cut out um, like trying five or six other pieces and I decided to just go back to my um, Simple Stories color vibe, which I am really loving these stickers. Uh, they are super, super paper thin, um, but I feel like they're a really nice size. And when you order the books, they have several different colored books. You get for each color, three sizes of, of the alphabets, including little square pieces as well. So um, I went ahead and put in the green with the word Easter and then 2013. And then back up there at the top on the left hand side, that actually does call for a picture there, but I didn't have pictures. So went ahead and just cut out the pattern paper. And then I used one of my little dies um, to add a square there where she is able to add some journaling if she chooses to do so, because this is uh, photos for my friend. And then I added a little bunny in a car with a bunch of eggs. So here is my final layout, as well as some close-ups. I hope you're enjoying all of these layouts that I've been able to get out for you guys. Uh, thank you so much again for sticking around for me. I really appreciate uh, your support. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope that you have a scrappy day.